Are you weighing your options on avoiding a foreclosure but not sure what you will need to get started? Let's look at the materials you'll want to have handy when you start looking at your options for avoiding foreclosure. Hi, I'm Jim Kevney of Kevney Legal Group. We are New Jersey and a Pennsylvania based law firm that focuses on foreclosure defenses and avoiding foreclosure altogether. Every day we help people just like you to obtain loan modifications, work out short sales, fight foreclosures, or pursue other options for dealing with their distressed home loan. As a result, one piece of advice we almost always end up discussing with our clients is to create a checklist of documents and other things you will need in order to achieve the desired goal. Financial records. Almost every approach to avoiding foreclosure is, at some point, going to require a disclosure of your financial condition. This will usually require bank statements, tax returns, pay stubs, and other evidence of your income and expenses. Original mortgage papers. Next, you will want to find your original mortgage papers, if you still have them. These might contain valuable information, such as evidence of predatory lending, incorrect information of the loan, terms regarding assignment of the loan, and so forth. Some documents may also contain important contact information and disclosures that can be useful for working out loan modifications. All court documents received. If your case had already progressed to the point of receiving actual documents from the court, you're going to want to keep track of that paperwork. It will contain important information about which court the case is assigned to, deadlines for responding to the lawsuit, allegations regarding amounts due, who is servicing the loan, and more. Notices from the bank, the bank's attorney, or the court. Similarly, you're going to want to hold on to any notices you receive from the bank, the bank's attorney, or the court. These documents will often provide useful information like contact numbers, amounts claimed, account balances, etc. They can also serve as evidence of whether the bank met certain obligations, such as notice requirements, which are contained in a mortgage, prior to the foreclosure case. Most recent mortgage statement. Arguably, one of the most important things to hold on to is the most recent mortgage statement. It will contain information about your loan amounts, your payment history, and your current loan servicer. There may be other documents and things you'll need, but these should get you started and assist your attorney in putting together the best options for your particular case. Of course, Kevney Legal Group is dedicated to helping those facing foreclosure, and we will be happy to help you too. We would love to speak with you about your case and help you determine the course of action that is best to meet your goals under the circumstances of your specific case. You can email me at jim at kevneylegalgroup.com or give us a call at 1-800-219-0939. I'm Jim Kevney. Thanks for watching.